I hatched the best prison world's egg for 24 hours, and today you will see what all of this got me. So you probably know that the loot bag egg, that's the name of it, is pretty hard to hatch because earning enough coins is a hard task in this update. I did reach coin cap. It took me around 15 to 17 hours, probably. I haven't hatched that much. The strongest pet I have right now I had to trade for, which did help a lot. As of game passes, I got magic eggs, both lucky game passes and huge hunter as always. I also got pet mastery and maxed out egg mastery. The cheaper egg bonus helps a lot in this case, saves a lot of time. The eggs cost 6.7 thousands of coins each with max mastery. With the coin setup and full team of huge pets, it does take a while to earn enough coins to reach coin cap, even with all of that, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of you never reached the coin cap in this update. Anyways, here's a quick look on how many of every new pet I have from the best egg. No guard corgis yet, but that's because they are super rare to hatch. I'm hoping to get a rainbow guard corgi because that would boost my damage by a lot. My enchant loadout is staying the same. Two huge hunters, one shiny hunter, and three lucky egg enchants. I'll be using these tier 5 lucky potions. They are fairly easy to get and gives a nice boost. The prison cows went from 1.2 to 1.35 chances just with the potions. So let's start to hatch, I guess. Been 9 hours of hatching so far. I did a little overnight and almost all of the coins are gone. Anyways, let's check the results so far. No huge pets have been hatched. I got some rainbow prison axolotls and other decent stat pets. Just one normal guard corgi. This shows how rare it is. Over 100 thousands of rainbow detective cats and over half a million of normal detective cats. Alright, let's use some more luck potions and continue to hatch. Gotta spend the rest of the coins and then grind for the coin cap again. I hatched for 12 hours which means we are halfway done and I hatched a bit over 1 million of eggs with the coin cap and let's see what this got me. I did get some extra stat pets, but I also got two more guard corgis now, so now I have three of them in total. Almost 10,000s of normal prisons cows, now compare that to 747,000s of normal detective cats. So time to grind for the coin cap second time, all I need is to get all of the boosts, and I will be good to go. Even with all of the boosts, I will have to spend over 10 hours, which is kinda crazy. Around 16 hours of coin grinding later, and I'm finally at the coin cap, which means I can finally get to the other 12 hours of hatching. Just gotta not forget to equip enchants and use some potions to have better luck at hatching, and now I can continue to hatch for the last 12 hours. And so I hatched the loot bag egg for 24 hours, in total hatched around 2.1 millions of eggs, and now time to see the results and if I got anything good. I did not hatch any active huge pets, but taking a look below, we can see the Rainbow Guard Corgi. That's what I wanted. It will help to break the breakables faster. And as of recording the video, less than 10,000s exists, as you can see, shows how rare it is. I also got many more stat pets. Prison axolotls are more interesting, though, because it's second best pet in this update. But now let's see how many of each pet I got. Starting with Detective Cats, I hatched around 1.47 million normal, around 6.95 thousand shiny, around 291 thousands golden, around 1.36 thousands shiny golden, around 287 thousands rainbow, and around 1.33 thousands shiny rainbow. Over 98% of all pets that I hatched were Detective Cats. Now the Prison Cows. I hatched around 19.6 thousands normal, 64 shiny, around 3.76 thousands golden, 21 shiny golden, around 3.73 thousands rainbow, and 12 shiny rainbow. The numbers went down by a lot compared to detective cats. Continuing with prison axolotls, I hatched 195 normal, 42 golden, and 31 rainbow. Very quickly went from thousands to hundreds, and no shiny variant this time. Even this pet is already pretty rare and hard to hatch. And finally, the guard corgis. I hatched just four normal and one rainbow. Pretty happy to have the rainbow version because it's pretty strong. Now let's try equipping some of the rarer pets to see how it looks like when there's many of them and later do a coin grinding test. Here I got 80 normal prison axolotls. Doesn't really look epic or anything. Pretty basic, but axolotls are cool. 
Here's all of my 42 golden prison axolotls. Looks just like a normal golden pet. Nothing too bright as it sometimes happens. And the 32 rainbow prison axolotls. The rainbow does look pretty nice on this pet, not gonna lie. Here's four of the guard corgis. I do kind of like this pet. I feel like it would be a nice looking active huge pet. Do you agree? Or there's some other pet that would be better. And here's the rainbow version of it. It doesn't look bad, I guess, but rainbow effect doesn't really fit this pet as well, but it's pretty rare and strong. Here's every pet variant that I have hatched in this video, in total 17 different variants, the best being Rainbow Guard Corgi. And about that, let's move to the testing. I activated all of the boosts that I need for the coin grinding, the breakables break really quick, but let's see how much I can get in one minute. And in just one minute I got only 8 bars. I did kinda expect a bit more to be honest. So with a team of 80 huge pets powered by Rainbow Guard Corgi, it would take me around 14 to 15 hours of grinding to reach the coin cap. Pretty crazy how long it would take with everything that I got. Corgi did boost the amount of coins I earned per hour, but just by a bit. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I am happy to see when you do it. While waiting for a new video, you can check one of these videos out. You might like them too. Join my Discord server with link in description and I will see you soon.